Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a Pretty Pan introduction. I couldn't skip this. I couldn't. And I signed up for this project in like January from in the Fantastic Ladies and I was just really excited about it. And now time is here. I'm actually a day late. Um, I just realized yesterday that it was time for the intro for this project. I just chose my products just before I filmed but I have sat here in for like half an hour to trying to figure out what to put in the project and what to fit into the prom. It was really hard. <laughs> this project is called Once Upon a Pan and it is inspired by the TV show Once Upon a Time. I love that TV show so much. I have watched it like two times and one of the times was with John and he loved it as well. I love everything fairy tale like so it was really really perfect for us uh, and for me at least. I really love it. The project is created by Claire and I had the honor of meeting her last summer and I can't believe it's almost a year since I saw her last time which is really insane plus Erin and Amanda it it's crazy how fast time goes um but yes she is amazing and if you haven't watched her or seen her channel or anything like that please go check her out she is amazing you will love her just as much as much as i do as i said before this project was supposed to start on june 9th um it, it did uh, claire certainly started on time <laughs> i didn't obviously um but yeah it goes until december 9th so for half a year even though i had a really hard time picking my products and all time considered but i'm having a baby in october <laughs> And I know I talk about that a lot, but I just expect and assume that I'm not going to wear what much makeup for the first month or so. So I didn't really want to challenge myself that much um, for the products and st some of the products I really want to finish before baby comes. So let's see if that is even possible. I don't think it is, but I will try my best. <laughs> But yes, we have eight characters to link to, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, eight. And I will just start from the top and work my way to the bottom. And I will, of course, take progress pictures and line the products and everything like that. So you can watch and see my progress um, next update. And I do think it is monthly updates. It doesn't say. But I'm pretty sure it is monthly updates. Otherwise, I will just... Ask Claire. Claire, has it monthly updates? I don't know. But yes, let me just show you the products. So the first one is for Emma Swan and she is the savior product that saves the day. So I chose a primer because if I don't wear a primer underneath my foundation or face products, they will slide off and they will disappear within 10 minutes. So I chose my only primer that I have in my collection that is not my poor filling primer. This is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer and this is brand new because I use my other primer up to date. So <laughs> this is brand new but I do think I can finish this in like half a year. It really doesn't take me that long to go through a primer so I will mark it for next time but if I'm not wrong and I have this sitting upright it is all the way down to here and I have not opened it yet so that is really weird that is all the way down to here from new then we have Henry Mills and he is the boy of Emma Swan and uh, Regina that I'm going to talk about in a minute we are going to link a product that is something that you couldn't live without I'm looking at my computer because I don't have it in my notebook not organized uh, yeah, something that you couldn't live without. I chose a face powder, more likely a under eye setting powder. At least I use it for both, but mostly under my eyes. This is the W7 Selfie Powder, and I have had this into my pie project pan, so I hit pan on it. And I have just used it since underneath my eyes, since I hit pan. And I do have a small chunk of a powder in it, because I am mixing it with a banana powder under my eyes, because... This is a little bit too light for me now and the banana powder is a little bit too dark so I mix it and it creates a beautiful shade for me. So it does have some here. I can only show you like this but I hope you can see what it looks like 
I have a decent pan, so I definitely think I can finish this by December. Then we have Snow White or Mary Margaret. And she is the teacher and we are supposed to pick something uh, white or blood red. So of course I chose something blood red. Why not? I don't know why I do this to myself. The white product was my primers, but I... I don't want to add another primer to this. So I chose my W7 Lip Twister. So this is a lip liner in red. This one right here. Snow White is the mother of MS1, if you don't know. But yes, this is all I have. Oh well, this is everything that I have in this lip liner. It is almost full. I have used it like once. I can finish this by December. I'm pretty sure that I can. I can finish these, if I use them every single day or every single time I use makeup, I can finish them in like a month and a half. So I do think this is possible to finish. I just need to wear red lipstick a little bit more than I am now. But I am panning a red lip gloss, glossy stick, lipstick thingy in my graveyard project pan. So I thought it was perfect. Then we have Prince Charming or David Nolan and he is the hero. And that is, of course, Mary Margaret or Snow White's husband. A product that is reliable, reliably good. Is that that word? Reliable, rel reliably. I can't say that word. I chose another lip liner from Dove 7. I love these lip liners. They are amazing and they are affordable. And I know I can go through them quick. And I have a few and I need to use them up. And this is my favorite shade. It is the most nudie pink one. So obviously it is going to be a match. This is the color pink. It is basically the same size as the red one. But I just know I can trust this lip liner. And it stays put and it makes my lipstick not wear well off as easily and they are easy to apply and they're just beautiful on the lips so I can always count on these lip liners so that is why I chose this lip liner again and the color is just easy to use up <laughs> so that is my Prince Charming product no did I just put this down oh my god I'm so stupid then we have Regina Regina and she is also the evil queen and she is called in this prompt the badass We are supposed to pick a product that makes you feel like a queen and she is also the mom of Henry He is adopted if you couldn't tell <laughs> I had a hard time I didn't know what product can I choose and that I'm not working on like five at a time and I can make progress on and that makes me feel good at the same time That should be easy right? <laughs> But I just feel a little bit more complete when I have my base on and when the shade actually match me. I'm so pale if you don't, if you can't tell. I'm really pale. I need some sort of mixer all the time for my foundations because this, they never match. This is just a product that I can always use for every single foundation and this is the Dove 7 Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. And this is my mixer right now for everything, basically. I did have some very nice lines, but now I don't think you can see it anymore. But I will have it settled so I can mark it for next update. But it's basically brand new. I have been using it for a few weeks only. And again, I am mixing it, so it's not going to take like two months to finish. But I do think I can finish by December. So that is my goal. Okay, then we have the three last characters and they were so hard to choose products for, like insanely hard. Rumble Still Skin, which is also Mr. Gold in the series and he is the dark one. And we are supposed to pick something dark brown or gold and I chose something from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, so this is brown obviously and the product that I chose is gold and I chose Creme Brulee. This one right here and this is the gold shade obviously I had pan on it and then half of what was left I franked into this shadow over here but I only I'm only going to work on this shadow for, for now and I really want to hit pan on that again and I am working on a lot of shadows so I don't know how easy that will be for me to hit pan on again 
on it again. It is quite thin, so I don't think it is going to be a problem in six months. But yeah, I'll make as much progress on it as I can. And let's see how I am going to do. I do think I will have some kind of struggle with the last product in this project, but um, because they are kind of alike. <laughs> but yeah, I really wanted to work on my chocolate bar again. And Cambolet is perfect for that. Then we have Belle. If you know the show, Mama Stolskin and Belle are dating and married and everything like that. And she is the bookworm and we are supposed to pick... Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> I don't want to get it. I don't want to. Um, we are supposed to pick something you read about or like the reviews of and then bought. And I chose my Chlor Vaseline, which is like a Vaseline, and I had it in my Roulette Panko Lab um, for this half of the year. And I rolled it out like a month ago or something, like one and a half month ago. I really want to work on that as, as well, because it is going to be pretty nice when my baby arrives, because I don't think I will wear that much lipstick or anything like that. I'm going to work on that because I heard so many good things about that lip balm vaseline and then i bought it mainly because of the hype but many people really like it and still likes it i still see people using that lip balm in a newer packaging of course but it's still really hyped the last thing i'm going to talk about and then you are not going to see me anymore today it is for killian jones or captain hook. He is with Emma Swan and I'm really excited about it. They are so cute together. And he is the pirate, of course. So we are going to pick something pirate ship treasure related. And that was really hard because I don't have any pirate theme stuff and I don't really have any ship related products. So maybe it could be have like an ocean or, or something like that. But I chose a pigment because I never work on them and I really wanted to work on them. So I chose a usage goal for that one. Mainly because I have a lot of products to work on and eyeshadows to work on. So let me show it. It is my blush trap pigment in Cave of Wonders. And cave is like a treasure theme. You know, a treasure is often in a cave or something like that. This is the Cave of Wonders. It is completely full because I haven't used it um, at all. I can show you a swatch. It is so stunning. Like, insanely stunning. So it is a, like a gold color, as you can see, with an orangey shift, which will be amazing for summertime. Look at that orange and then gold the pigments is like a multi thing and because she has shut down you can't get it anymore but it is absolutely stunning and i really want to use it more so i'm going to use that pigment 10 times and if i hit that goal i will use it 10 more times so let's just see how i do with it again i'm working on a lot of eyeshadow so i'm going to get get easier on myself is that called is it called that i'm i'm yeah i'm just going to relax and just enjoy using it and let's see how many times i can use it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was on the longer side but it is an introduction and you are you tend to talk a lot more in the introductions of project pans i'm really excited about this project pan and i actually think i chose some manageable products and goals for this let's see how i do let's see how i do after i have gotten my baby <laughs> insane yeah i hope you guys enjoyed check out claire if you haven't already the master list with all the other ladies are down below and until my next video please take care bye